What is going on Lego Maniacs? It's Ty Lego Guy here, and today we're going to be doing another set from the Clone Wars or Revenge of the Sith, depending on how you want to look at it. And honestly, it's a great set, really, really like it. They've actually only done it twice, and this is the first time that they've ever done it uh, with this exact Starfighter. And that is the Jedi Starfighter with Hyperdrive Booster Ring. Came out in 2007, uh, it's set 7661, went for 50 US, had two mini figs or two and a half, depending on how you want to look at it. And it had 575 pieces. Honestly, this is one of my favorite sets from episode three. I know I've been saying that about a lot of the sets, but a lot of them are really good, including this one. Um, I actually have a funny story with this. I, I was in Nova Scotia, I was in Boston, and I found this guy on sale. It was retiring soon, so I bought it right away. Um, I was a kid too, so you don't have too much money, but I had 50 bucks and I put it towards this set. Um, but anyways, I think it's absolutely fantastic. It's the first set that we actually get Kid Festo in, which is also a cool little thing with it. But yeah, we're going to be looking at the uh, movie footage, which will be in the description, just, so just click that link, as well as some pictures of the uh, actual uh, model, you know, to compare this with against that, just to see how accurate it is. Um, but anyways, really looking forward to doing this set. Uh, honestly, it's, it's awesome, which I think a lot of you guys can agree with that, but we're going to find out why. But yeah, enough talk, let's get right into it. So to start, let's take a look at Obi-Wan's Jedi Starfighter itself. Give you a 360 view. So very similar to the 2005 version. Um, it's almost identical, although there is tiny differences like uh, that piece that I was just pushing in is actually new. There's a little bit of a difference between those two. So I'll start off with here. So what's interesting is it has cool little landing gear. So you can just pull these guys down and then it sits upright. So pretty cool. And then as well, just like every Jedi Starfighter, this class, the Interceptor class, the wings fold out. And yeah, it's just like the movie. And I love, love, love that TIE Fighter looking window. I know I've mentioned it before. It's just, I don't know, it, it, it's just reminiscent. You can tell it's turning into the Empire. So great job. Uh, then you can open this guy up and they have a little um, uh, joystick as well as some control panels in there, which is nice. They actually have not done that with the latest Jedi Starfighter they made. And I thought that was really stupid, but what are you gonna do? Uh, there's no flick fire missiles or anything on it on here, but there is on the actual hyperdrive ring, which is kind of interesting. Um, but yeah, that's the Starfighter. These things keep popping out. Um, so yeah, let's take a look at it. The only thing I'd have a fault with, again, as I've mentioned before, is I do not get the droid um, on this. I know they designed it like this and it was easier to not have a little uh, area for him to go into, but I just really don't like it. That's the biggest improvement I see with the new ones over the old ones. But now let's take a look at the uh, booster ring. So here's the booster ring itself. As you can see, it's actually quite large. Like it's really big. Like we're gonna look at the Starfighter in it, but it's just a really big um, booster ring. So it's pretty cool. I love these engines. I think they did a great job on it. Uh, they're simple, but I think they are definitely effective. And yeah, that's the hyperdrive ring. What's cool too is they have, I don't think they had this in the movie, but they just did it for, you know, a play feature. They have little flick fire missiles and they actually work better than the normal ones just because they don't have that little thing to keep them in, which means it can fly out a lot, but they can shoot better. So now what we'll do is we'll uh, stick the Starfighter in. So I'll show you guys how you do that. So you take this guy in, he has those little connector things on the bottom. And now it's in there like that. And then it just comes down. These little things kind of hold it in. And it's really sturdy. It's not going anywhere. Um, just a great set. It's simple, but they did a really good job on it. And for almost 600 pieces for 50 US back in the day, I think it was definitely worth that. Good deal. But now let's take a look at the two and a half minifigs. So guys, here we have the two minifigs, two and a half minifigs if you want to include the droid. 
And as you can see, I got a brand new way of reviewing minifigs. Let me know what you guys think. Um, I personally like it myself, but I'd like to know what you guys what your guys thoughts are. I'm trying to make the best reviews I can, so I thought this could definitely help. And there's a lot less glare, if you notice, with this video. So first off, we got Obi Wan on the left. Um, great looking minifig. This was one of the actually last times that we actually got him, which was actually kind of interesting. And then we have Kit Festo on the right. So this is the first time you could get Kit Festo. I'll just show you guys just because his tentacles are kind of covering it up. He does have a robe uh, piece. And this was the first time again that we ever got him, which was kind of a selling point for me because who doesn't love Kit Festo? So yeah, great looking minifig. Then we have the droid head on the far right. Not so great, but what are you gonna do? There's no back face printing or anything with these guys. Um, that came out later, uh, much later, probably like five, six years later. And then they do have that standard awful gray lightsaber. Um, but you know, it's, it is what it is. They shortly got into the chrome after this. But yeah, those are the minifigs. Now let's take a look at the pics, just to see how accurate this set is. And if you wanna look at the uh, movie footage as well, uh, take a look at that link in the description. So here we have an action figure depiction of the uh, Jedi Starfighter Hyperdrive. I believe this is Anakin's. Um, actually, it's a little dark to be Anakin, but anyways, it looks very similar to that, the Lego version. Here's the back of it. Um, I actually think Lego maybe did a better job because it gave you know little blue pieces to see it was on. So great job. There's actually a Lego version of it right here, but I think that's actually with the uh, that's with the old Jedi Starfighter. I think that's a mock. Um, anyways, that's pretty cool. Uh, here's another picture of it. Um, this one's a little bit less advanced. There's not three engines. There's only two. So this is actually an older model of that same looking um, hyperdrive. Here's another picture of the actual movie footage as well. Um, so anyways, just great job. Uh, the only thing they could have maybe included in is you see there's these little X's. So if they had little engines, engine pieces behind the actual blue piece, I know that's getting kind of picky, but I'm just trying to find ways that they could have maybe improved it a little bit. Um, here's another one with less dark hyperdrive. This is um, the... Uh, V19 Torrents. I really wish Lego would make one of those. Um, so anyways, just really, really cool. If they brought out that set, I'd pay 120 bucks for it. I wouldn't even care. Um, which is probably what it would end up costing. But yeah, those are the pictures. I thought they'd help you. And here's the last picture we'll look at. So, I mean, it's an action figure or a small scale um, representation of it, but I think that Lego did a really good job um, I'm actually anxious to compare this again against the newer hyperdrive, but yeah, those are the pictures I thought they'd help with the review Well guys, that was my review. I uh, hope you enjoyed it. Honestly, I have to say that Lego Did a fantastic job at this. Um, I'm actually anxious to compare this one against the new 2008 hyperdrive booster ring um, Just because I think they did a pretty good job on this one personally uh, and the minifigs although there wasn't a ton of minifigs the two that they gave you were great. Um, they probably did kind of throw in Kit Festo to kind of up the sell of this set, but I mean, whatever. It's a great set on its own. The engines, everything about it, just really, really good. Um, it, it works well. Uh, there's not a lot of features, but they didn't really do that back in 2007. Um, but yeah, let me know what you guys think. Do you like this set? Do you not? Uh, do you own this set? Um, yeah, honestly, great set. Can't say enough good things about it. Um, but yeah, that was my review. If you liked it, leave it a thumbs up. If you're new to the channel, definitely consider subscribing. But that's all I got for you today. But take care. Catch you on the next one.